Hello and what is going on today guys, Tomcat here and today I'm going to be showing you a brand new logging rig in Mudrunner. Now, this is obviously a mod and it's a uh, Scorpion King like log loading machine. It's ridiculous really. It can pull trailers, it can haul lumber in the back of its own, basically its own frame plus a trailer behind it. And it can also load them itself. Now, there's also a lot of detail in this thing. And also, by the way, I'm using free cam right now in case you guys in case you guys aren't aware of that. It's basically a feature in uh, Mudrunner Mod where you can press the zero key and it puts you into a free cam mode, like a no clip mode. So I've never driven this thing before, but also looking on the interior, it's actually like really detailed. Like it's super detailed in here. So with all of that being said, we are also going to have to take it to a logging area to see how it will actually work. Now, that requires, well, it we could just drive it there. But where's the fun in that when you have a 8x8 converted Western Star mod and you can literally use that to tow it just about anywhere you'd like? So, what we're going to go ahead and do is we're going to put the ramps down, we're going to load that thing up, and if it doesn't fit, we'll drive it there. But I'm pretty confident that it'll fit, so I'm not really too worried about it. And it's actually recallable. Actually kind of surprised it's recallable, to be honest. Let's go ahead and ease it up the trailer. Definitely going to be a balancing act. Definitely going to be a balancing act. Wow. That's a little bit large. Kind of a large boy. I will tell you, as soon as you start using this free cam, you will probably abuse it. You will probably abuse it because you know what? It's literally just about the best thing ever. Um, but no, for real, this thing is ridiculously huge. Like, it's so insanely massive that there's very few things that I would drive that, you know, there's very few things I would drive or try to put on a trailer that are that big. So, we're going to go ahead and actually, we're going to raise those trailer legs back. Uh, raise them up, please. Oh, I can't see it anymore. Why? Okay. Uh, come on. There we go. For some reason, I blanked on which way they're supposed to go. So, what we're going to do, since we have trucks that are literally both equipped with tires plenty suitable for mud... We're actually going to head down to the swamp, and if this thing gets stuck, we'll continue on with the, um, with the Scorpion King itself. So, this thing, I'm, I've never actually tried it in proper mud before, and it's also a little high, so you can see that the trailer hitch kind of clips through the trailer a little bit, but it's also quite fast. Like, it's, it's really fast, um, for what it is, and also for what's behind it. I mean... It really and truly should not be this fast uh, with this with this rig behind it, but it goes, that's for sure. And now, to be fair, it will never, ever, ever struggle for traction, ever. And unless, well, I should say, unless you're in extremely deep mud. If you're in extremely deep mud, then yeah, you're probably going to struggle for traction. But that's kind of going to be the case with any sort of vehicle that's going to be towing, uh, towing massive equipment like this. Now, there's a turnoff somewhere up ahead that should take you down into that swamp. And I don't think we're there yet. I just want to make sure we don't miss it because this would be like, this would be like turning a battle station around. Like, literally, this would be like turning an actual battleship around. I really don't want to turn it around, and I'm sure you guys can understand why. We do have eight, no, not eight, wow. Four, we have eight-wheel drive with four steer tires, so it's definitely really maneuverable for a truck its size. Only thing I'm concerned about is getting the trailer stuck, especially on fallen trees and things like that. Now, we did have to turn a bit wide, as, uh, yeah, as you could see, but I think we'll be all right as long as we kind of head between these trees. We'll be okay. We know what we're doing. We're professionals around here. Said no one ever. Um, but we'll just... Con I'm, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to lock it in low three and just kind of continue on from there. I've got to admit, these huge tires really, really allow this thing to do a great job of floating over 
the soft ground and floating over the mud, most trucks would be sinking by now, especially with something that heavy behind them. Now, I'm curious as to whether or not there will be some usable, um, some usable stuff at these, uh, at these log stations. I think that this would carry probably, uh, uh oh, it partially fell off, um, but either small or medium lumber, so, oh, drive closer to explore. I'll just get right within the circle there, and that should kind of free it up. Wow, okay, cool. No logs are available. You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to swap right over to the Scorpion. Because I haven't driven it at all yet, and... You're joking. You're joking. Oh my god. Luckily, we have an electric winch and lots of trees. So let's ease it back over, start it up, and then hopefully attempt to get out of here. Well, you know what? I'm going to drive off this side of the truck because this thing has so much articulation, you could just about drive it off of anything. You really can, and I don't know what's up with the frame rate right now, but I am going to swap over to the Western Star and shut the engine off because... I really only like to have one running truck at once. It, it's weird. Like, I don't know. I, 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 I like to have just one running truck in the same area at the same time. I don't know. It's very weird. I feel like the sounds get mixed together and then they sound a little odd. Like, I feel like almost like the game doesn't really quite know what to do with the sound at that point. Yep. No logs available there either. Although this thing is perfect for this kind of stuff though. Like searching around like scavenge sites. It's perfect for that. Absolutely perfect for it. The interior view is really, really, really good, too. Now, obviously, we can't fit these, but if we could... I would say if we could, but... Ugh, there we go. Now, if we could fit these... Come on. Oh, raise, raise, raise. Easy. Easy. Okay, yeah, so it basically operates like most um, most cranes in this game would. Uh, let's see if we can grab both at once. What are the stairs? Oh, literally? Are you serious? You can just put like fold the stairs up? That's so cool! That's honestly like really and truly so cool. Cool thing about this is that it's also 360 rotation. Um Oh boy. It's uh it's a little uh, unbalanced though. It's a little unbalanced and it uh it shows. Let's see if we can free cam this. Actually, yes. Oh god. Oh god. Oh god. Okay, it didn't like that. We can totally free cam this. However, it's, uh, it's a little weird, although what you can do is you can operate the crane while you're in free cam. That, my friends, is freaking amazing, and I love it. And I absolutely, absolutely freaking love it. So, I am actually going to bring this over here and just kind of drop it because we don't have a, uh, we don't have anything that's big enough for that so we're gonna get out of free cam and oh my god if you could not be in there we go I feel like it probably you know what I'm just gonna test the I'm gonna test the log hauling um, size because I didn't actually check it beforehand and I want to make sure that it's like small logs because I feel like it's it's probably small maybe medium but well, no. Actually, now that I think of it, it's probably medium because smalls go into, like, you know, small, like, pickup trucks and stuff. But, God, is it crazy maneuverable or what, though? I love how the whole platform rotates. Like, it's you have literally 360 degrees or maybe, I mean, heck, if you only had 180 degrees of rotation, it would still be a ton. You know what I mean? It would still be an absolute ton of rotation. Oh, boy. 
I'm going to go back up into... I put it back up into high, and then I realized I had made a mistake, so I put it back into automatic. But by that time, it had already shifted itself back down to, like, second gear in automatic. So, yeah, that was a bit of a fail on my part. Just keep it floored in auto. If you want to actually go quickly, keep it floored in auto. Otherwise, otherwise, it's not going not gonna to happen. Dude, can you imagine attempting to haul this and the skitter at the same time? That would be insane. That would be legitimately insane. All right, let's see. Combo medium. So there you go. Okay, that's not too bad then. So it's the medium four-point load of lumber. That's not too bad at all. Actually, though, there's one more thing. One more thing that I am very curious about, and that is how far you can outfit this thing. Or I should say how much, but still. Because it does have a trailer hitch, a usable trailer hitch. So let's see. Mm, fuel trailer, garage trailer. It's a medium, medium, short. And that's another medium. So technically you could, ha you could haul a, like an entire eight points with this thing like you know, all at the same time, which is actually really, really good. I mean, eight points is pretty much completion for just about every objective out there. So think about it. If you had like a team of two or three of these, dude, you, you could knock out objectives left and right. It does handle a little funny, especially if you try to turn it at high speed, but it was not made to turn at high speed whatsoever. I just want to see what this thing looks like and drives like with all of that lumber loaded up on it. Because with a full eight points, it's definitely going to weigh it down quite a bit. Easing it up the hill. It's not really even a hill. It's like, it's like a moderate rise in the terrain. Yo, are those like miniature light bars? I think that's really cool like miniature pods just like chilling out right there so you can see exactly what you're doing off to the sides that's honestly really really genuinely cool I love the fact that they even went to the detail to have those there and that's the other thing too is it could be just a, a model conversion and it could have you know which it probably is but even then it's still cool to have it here in the game Alright, let's go ahead and pull up. We'll get these logs loaded up and we'll see how it drives uh, fully loaded down with all this lumber. Because it's going to be a lot of lumber. Alright. Combo medium. And medium. And that is a full eight points loaded up onto this thing. That's actually really, really cool. And you know what else I love about it is the fact that it could load its own lumber carrier and it could load the trailer all by itself so that's another really really cool thing now if you guys enjoyed this video make sure to click that like button let me know in the comment section down below what you guys thought of it and if you're new to the channel make sure to subscribe for more and i will see you guys next time talk to y'all later